Greetings, mystics and sages of the highest order of the Councils of Light. On this galactic portal of Keen 55, Blue Electric Eagle, we have a massive wave of higher energetics flowing into the field from our local sun, Solaris. The electrical blue ray of the Eagle tribe of the Winged Nation is flooding this realm with the healing, universal life force of Source Creator. We have pulses of white light appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 36 Hz and a big blast at 47 Hz. Fifth dimensional energy is flowing in. Pachamama also received a massive activation with a powerful M6.8 earthquake in the sacred portal of Easter Island at 1917 UTC right on the Tropic of Capricorn as our La Luna, the moon, travels into the sign of Capricorn. Powerful synchronicities coming into alignment for this great shift of the ages. All these galactic energies are preparing Gaia and all her children for the super full moon in Capricorn tomorrow for super activations and DNA upgrades. With the power and love of Aphrodite, we are waking from the dream into the real. The dream of separation and limitation is ending, and the reality of oneness and unity is beginning. This is our eternal bliss consciousness that we have evolved over many eons to become. In this now we step over the threshold of our paradise on earth, where we merge the two worlds of heaven and earth to break free from all the cycles of birth and death. All things are perfectly resolved in the unborn mind of Buddha. This is the gnosis one needs for full liberation from the known into the freedom of the unknown. Some may say freedom is merely a myth, but I say this is irrelevant, for all myths are created to speak directly to our psyche for our great awakening and ascension process. Like a Zen koan, these are words and stories to assist us in our practice of transcendence into the light of our sacred self, our eternal, pure awareness of our true, unchanging nature. In the empty mind is the field, the void, where all is made manifest. We activate the power of silence within the still white magnetic light at the center of all things, the source of our almighty I Am Presence. All prophecies of heaven on earth are being fulfilled and are coming to fruition. I am here now, in this body, where I always am, the body of the heavenly host of this holy cosmos. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor. Share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 10 degrees, 42 minutes Capricorn. The sun is at 20 degrees, 42 minutes Cancer. 4242 portal of the 77, the sacred 77. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 21 degrees Cancer. A prima donna singing. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 11 degrees Capricorn. Pheasants display their brilliant colors on a private estate. From astrologyweekly.com and today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. A big purge today. Old belief systems, updates to the collective hive mind, sympathetic, parasympathetic, new data, recode, rest. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray. If you have been blessed to find the door within your heart, do not be frightened. Open it up, beloved. Discover what's inside. Love is, love is, love is, God is, God is, God is. 
and from divine sistar of the light amanda lawrence within these current strong incoming energies of increased spin multiple patterns high-pitched sounds there's something new an overall vibrational buzzing within and without and from divine sistar of the light ra james this supermoon is the largest and brightest full moon ever seen it's one of the strongest moons we have ever had a geomagnetic storm has also kicked off tomorrow a high-speed stream of solar wind is expected to hit earth's magnetic field we have a lot of different physical matter and energies from the sun being thrown towards earth our sun is basically a giant ball of fire plasma we have a huge influx of plasma energies coming at us right now and lots of them we are also receiving huge influxes of galactic energies like never before it's the galactic energies that are setting our sun off these energies are having a powerful effect on the planet we're going through some massive dna upgrades between now and august that's why so many people are feeling it or are feeling ascension symptoms this super moon is bringing comet k2 with it comet k2 could be one of the largest comets earth has ever seen it will come closest to earth on july 13th and be most visible on july 14th these energies are so powerful for working on our energy and for manifesting the next three weeks are so important for what we are working on and what we are doing from sparks of divine light healing dot com and from divine brother of the light pars coute there are tremendous amounts of light frequencies flooding our planet right now remember when we forgive we heal and when we let go we grow as this is our time let's enjoy the incoming super strong divine energies dear ones within divine love of one pars coute and from divine sister of the light ishtara rose connecting within to the energy of the high priestess archetype coming into power claiming those pearls as we rise deeper and higher into our alignment during this july 13th wednesday supermoon larger and brighter than normal as closer to earth called the buck moon because this time of year is when the new antlers of male deers bucks are in their full growth stage the masculine power shines like a thousand suns and so he is whole and able to support her to rise and claim her pearls and as she does she may bless him with her waters then he may shine even brighter and so the dance flows the sun warms the water and the waters shine and reflect the sun some numerology for this year this wednesday july 13th at 9 a.m gmt the moon will arrive at its closest point to the earth for 2022 a perigee distance of 221,994 miles which adds up to nine nine hours and 38 minutes later the moon will officially turn full three nines also noticing the 17 in play here date 13 7 2022 equals 17 time full at 6 38 p.m equals 17 and from divine sister of the light victoria lillianquist the dream since 1997 i have been shown this process during my visions visitations from yeshua mary and shown to me by the galactic council of light i share only what i have personally experienced and been given to share thank you beloved family of light your presence on this journey is truly beautiful and cherished the dream initiation we are in the dream now we are in an energy of thinking we are awake yet we are actually inside our sleep journey our emotions are clearing we are letting go of judgments we are reaching for new goals new direction new dedication inner peace it is lining up within our cell memory now doing the breast stroke to the completion of our mission here where we know and are shown this glorious process when we shall leap to our new octave to our birthright our destiny and heart's desires but we must pass this final exam while in this dream we are also experiencing a deeper sleep state daily 
Have you noticed you are sleeping longer, more frequently? Have you noticed more people in your dreams? Or experienced releasing old emotional issues carried through this life cycle? As we sleep, we are going deeper, traveling, teleporting, back and forth between the parallel worlds, our second earth, our new home, or perhaps traveling to our perspective planets where we have wonderful plans, aspirations, and our tribe, our people waiting for us, like the birds building their new nests. Back and forth, we are flying through this process. One of these beautiful, bright mornings we shall arise from the dream, to awaken finally to our universal reality, forgetting and leaving behind the tests, the suffering, sorrow, loss, the separation of loved ones, missing people, pets, and all the frustration, the falseness of this illusional world. Beloved family, we shall be able to leave it all behind and to celebrate together our freedom and our unlimited possibilities new joyfulness, love, companionship, new unity and oneness. Our dance is just beginning. Soon. Blessings and joy, angelic and galactic commander Victoria Lillian Quest, and from Divine Sister of the Light Mary Long. I often feel that I am not here physically, but my spirit is floating endlessly in the ethers. When I wake up some mornings, everything feels different, looks different, and I have this floaty feeling, along with a bit of dizziness at times. It is as if I am walking in a dream. I often feel the earth moving beneath my feet as well as a humming sound that seems to come up through the ground into my heart chakra, and then this blast of white light comes out of my crown and connects with the source of all creation. There are times that I feel content as if I am constantly blanketed with love from the cosmos, and those that are here to help raise the frequency of love until we are finally in our fifth dimensional state of being, which is far beyond form as an energetic being of pure golden light. It is hard to find words to describe these new feelings, but is very deeply known within the blueprint of our soul. Many changes are happening so quickly as the old continues to crumble away and brought to the light of things. There is nothing in this world or in the cosmos that can stop what is coming with this wave of light is the source of all creation, the one infinite consciousness that we all are. The higher we go dimensionally within ourselves, we are less attracted to the lower densities of the 3D plane of Earth. Mother Gaia has already moved into her fifth dimensional state. She has been there for a while. If you pay attention and be more observant, as well as listen to that inner voice, you will hear her calling you to come join her. Be still and listen to the inner yearnings of your soul. It is there we find our way home. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ramona Lappin, you hold the key to your liberation. Truly understanding what is behind the cause of the fallen, digressed, and inverted consciousness is what heals us all, as we remember fully now what truly got us here, to see the terror, the fear, the lostness of the fragmented mind behind the masks that we call evil, seeing ourselves reflected in all things around us, no longer separate, no longer playing along with the old victim-victimizer games and mind movies of them versus us, which just keeps recreating them. It's us fully remembering now that it was the mind that got lost without the heart because it's the anchor and guide. That's what gets one lost within the dream that then becomes a nightmare, because only when we truly understand the reasons why can we heal all those parts of us, of the one that got lost no longer casting false projections onto the movie screen, as we travel back to the beginning where it all began, to unravel it all, to transcend any remaining illusions and energies of separation held deep within our bodies and psyche. We get to resolve it all to help bring coherence, reconciliation, and healing to the one consciousness. Remembering that we made all of this up, it's all imagined, all projected. It's us dreaming, haven't forgotten what led us here, forgotten we are dreaming, taking everything so literal, taking everything to heart and personal, 
lost in the artificial and separated ego mind that created this fear matrix. We all feel in consciousness and asleep within the dream, so there's truly no one to blame here. Only for the real truth to be remembered again, for us to bring a higher consciousness into all realities, to shine our light and love onto those unhealed places of the collective shadow self. All that's left is responsibility and accountability to be given and taken, but now we end the karmic game of blame and shame, of separation, division, and war. The end of the false matrix simulation as we remember what is really real. All from deep within our own heart-mind, reunified as one. Now we fully awaken again to remind everyone that it's all been a dream. As we let go of the illusions, they disappear, and a whole new reality, a whole new dream awakens, stirs, and is ignited and remembered from deep within. Listen in the silence, keep dropping deeper and deeper and deeper within, into the abyss that your heart is there to cross into a reality void of confusion, separation, pain, suffering, and death, because it's not real. Because now we remember that this only happens if we fall asleep within the dream, become unconscious behind the steering wheel. When the mind becomes disconnected from the heart, when we let fear, false evidence appearing real, take over and convince us of what's not real. Connect and be at one with your heart, your home and source within, within all those forgotten, fragmented and unloved parts of us. Shine your love into all of them so all can be unified as one. Because no matter where you are or what happens, this is the light and love of Source you always carry within you, inside your heart. It's not to be found out there, but deep within, our innate connection to the Divine that only we can access for ourselves. Only when we forget this, believe we're lost, have been forgotten or not loved, separate from others. That's when we drop into the fear that creates illusions and veils, false perceptions and projections in an insane world. Fear is just an absence of love, of us not knowing real truth. So drop deeper and deeper within, my beloved child, the key to your freedom, love, peace, liberation, and abundance that you've been searching for has always been there right inside your heart all along never out there in the maya, the illusion. That's merely a projection of what we imagine everything to be. So stop falling for the distractions that keep pulling you further away from the real. Your diamond avatar is waiting for you to be fully remembered again, ready to be fully ignited, merged with, waiting to be awakened from deep within you, in the silence now, ready to fully awaken from the dream. That's when we remember the one true self again, to be found right there inside of us, ready to birth forth anew, and with it the all-new organic creatrix field. Remember, beloved, remember, my child. Remember the power you hold deep inside of you. It is time to fully remember and awaken from the dream within the dream within the dream, where no thing lies outside of us. And there is no more us versus them because we resolved it from right within the core of the core, within. And as we go back to the beginning that has no end, where there is no death, no birth, no separation, no time, no space, just one eternal field of source creation, an infinite sea of heart, love-based intelligence, where there is no fear because we remember that it was never real to begin with, that we imagine all of this. Every moment we get to make a choice between fear and love, that choice decides what dimensions and realities we get to experience and co-create. Choose wisely. Keep connecting and merging your mind with your heart to unify all as one. That's how we get to see clearly again. Why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open? Move outside the tangle of fear thinking. The entrance door to the sanctuary is inside of you. Rumi, eternal love and blessings, Ramona, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel, the time of great flux. All is being recreated as our new crystalline bodies are forming in and around us. This applies to animals and all living cells and creatures, species and life forms. 
I was shown how seeming extinct species will reappear in the new earth, and some totally new forms of life will appear, all fifth dimensional. The Christed lions from Sirius are making themselves felt in immensely powerful ways, as the lions are roaring in the changes and what prolific changes these are. There is such a buzz in the air, it's just amazing to witness. We are being lifted beyond all we have ever known and into the totally unknown. It is time to wear the explorer's hat as the visionaries amongst us awaken, as well as the mystics. And it's time to lead the way through the open heart with the company of heaven and the mighty I am presence. All is happening and now. These next new months are going to lift us totally into the unknown as miracles unfold. The golden age is here. Welcome it. Become it with great love. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code. All the difficulty you have been experiencing the past few years has led to major transformation. It was part of your life path to experience this death and rebirth cycle to become who you really are in this lifetime. Regeneration and nourishment are now happening as the worst is now behind you. Prepare to fly, beloveds. In this new cycle, your values are very different. All the lessons you've learned are being utilized for your new skill sets. Confidence, leadership, and sovereignty with a no bull attitude protects your auric field. Know that the choices you are making are healthy ones as you know how to prevent yourself from repeating past life karmic lessons. Trust that you are wiser and ready to align with your soul family that embodies this new frequency as you, including your divine counterpart. Give them the opportunity to show you that they are equally reciprocal and peaceful. Adapt to the renewal process and take a chance. You are a powerful warrior of love, and it is safe to open your heart and trust. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Astro Butterfly, North Node Conjunct Uranus. July 2022 is one of the most important months of the year. July 2022 star transit is the North Node conjunct Uranus and Taurus. The North Node and Uranus only meet every 15 years, so the conjunction will influence us for the following 15 years. North Node has an applying effect, so we will witness an amplification of Uranian themes. Breakthroughs, shakeups, innovations, and unexpected developments in technology, groups of people and communities, financial systems, resources, and the stock market. Even if nothing may happen on the day of the transit, this conjunction will set into motion a series of events that will influence us for years to come. At an individual level, the conjunction will be experienced as a pull to live our life on our own terms. We can discover resources and talents we didn't know we had, or we can finally get rid of trauma or energy-draining behaviors that have been sabotaging us for years. From AstroButterfly.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Sun conjunct asteroid Persephone. Jupiter conjunct asteroid Grieve. The skies tap into the old story of Ceres and Proserpina, Demeter, and Persephone. As Pluto drags Persephone into the underworld, her mother weeps, rages, tears down the planets, flays, desiccates, shrivels. There are incalculable sorrows in the world right now. War and famine, fires raging, floods ripping through the cities, war upon war, death upon death. It flays the senses until we feel too raw and bare and at the mercy of the elements. But although Persephone never saw a future for herself as the queen of the underworld, this is now where she finds herself. These days she has eons of rulership of the shadow lands under her belt. So many reunions with her mother at spring and tearful farewells in autumn, Persephone has learned the dance of life and death navigated joy and sadness she has traveled to the deepest regions of herself acknowledged shadows survived the dark night of the soul let persephone guide you now 
You too are a survivor. Release resentment, channel faith. Turn tears to waves of compassionate action. Justice be done. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time The duty of the Intergalactic Union for Sufficient Evolution is to remain ever watchful for planets sustaining intelligent life on the verge of taking the next step in their evolution, the step to Noosphere. Long ago we saw your planet was being prepared. Already the cetaceans, whales and dolphins had attained the level of preliminary Noosphere, that is complete collective species-wide telepathic mind. But the human species, though very advanced on land, had yet to overcome the individualistic phase of the evolution of consciousness. There are many reasons for this which will slowly become apparent to you as we proceed with our communique. Once we have studied your planet sufficiently enough to gauge the next phase of its evolution, then we put the plan in motion, opening the galactic root of prophecy. Rinri Project Newsletter 3, Volume 4, Number 4 The Zolkin Times, Keen 55, Blue Electric Eagle the number three is called electric and its keywords are activate bond and service. A wave spell flows in a particular rhythm. Day one kicks things off, day two identifies the challenges, and day three activates. All this energy should not be wasted, and if you want to get the most out of this wave spell, take the advantage of today's energy boost and activate your adventure. The Skywalker wave spell is quite fast paced and you'll have to focus to keep up with it. Today is Blue Eagle and keywords associated with it are creativity, mind, and vision. The eagle sees things from a higher perspective and then uses creativity to solve any problems it sees. This day is all about stepping back and considering the bigger picture. So how does this fit in with the current wave spell? We are journeying for 13 days with the Red Skywalker, which asks us to get out of our comfort zone and be more adventurous. Today the eagle can help you have a vision, and this can inspire you and show you the direction to go. If previously you were unsure of where this adventure was going to take you, eagle has some creative ideas for you. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio. Blue Electric Eagle, 3 Main, Keen 55, 12th of July 2022. Activating the Big Vision. 12 7 2022 equal 3 7 6 equal 3 13 equal 3 4 equal 7 day codes 12 acquiring wisdom strength 3 holy trinity joy creativity 7 magic mystic spiritual initiation solitude month year codes 7 13 cosmic consciousness natural lore goddess mysteries 4 form structure Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 20, The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22, Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 55, Equal Double Freedom, Equal 10, Manifestation. A very dynamic, magical, revolutionary day. Summary of Codes for the 12th of July, 2022. 1, 3.7, Divine Magic Code. 2. Keen 55, Liberation Code. 3. Blue Electric Eagle, Activating the Big Picture. 4. Keen of Hiroshima Bomb, End of World War II. 5. Kin of Harmonic Convergence, Peace, New Time. Blue Electric Eagle Day, Keen 55, is the third day of the Red Skywalker Wave Spell of Awakening, Expansion, and Exploration. Today we activate our capacity to see into the emotional plane, witnessing what creates the greatest amount of transformation for ourselves and our planet. As we seek to create this big new vision, we awaken our global family with a big blast. Note we are being watched. A phenomenal number of sightings have been made globally as people capture photos of an eye in the clouds, skies, we are divinely protected and our future is in safe hands. Blue Eagle holds the power of vision throughout the whole spectrum of the space-time continuum, the past, the present, and the future, as well as parallel timelines and possibilities. 
Blue Eagle is the scout, prophet, and visionary who can fly up ahead and return as the messenger, warning us of what lies in our future if we do not consciously choose to change our current course. As we course correct, the Blue Eagle can identify where each timeline will lead the final outcome. The electric tone can activate our future timeline. It can very powerfully destroy one path and set humanity on a new course altogether. Such is the potent power of this electric eagle. Blue Eagle holds the codes for our collective planetary mind, so today's code has great influence in our planetary liberation. Keen 55 bonds all minds together to activate the big picture. Whatever transpires today has the power to awaken and unite all of humankind. The collective big picture for our planet is being activated today. Our divine mission is to remember the future, the future of the new time. In the new time there is no war, there is no pollution, there is no poverty, there is no hunger. Love, synchronicity, and imagination reign. Peace prevails on earth. In the new time, we are given the facilities to create a new culture, a galactic culture, a culture of wholeness, a culture of light, a culture of all-inclusive peace that recognizes our place in the cosmos. Let us manifest peace on earth. Let us all be the rainbow bridge and bring heaven to earth during this adventurous Skywalker cycle. Divine blessings for our success. In la ketch a la keen. I am another you. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 55, Blue Electric Eagle. The mantra the code for today is, I activate in order to create bonding mind. I seal the output of vision with the electric tone of service. I am guided by the power of self-generation. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have the link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and this channel, and help us continue bringing these transmissions to the world daily, you can make a monthly pledge on Patreon or one-time donation to our links at eaglelovecondor.com. I'd like to thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful code, powerful decree from Divine Sister of the Light, Sandra Walter. Divine Decree. I call forth the power of divine resolution to all outdated creations, patterns or habits in my life stream in this now. I transmute any misqualified energies, thought forms, emotions, or actions I have ever created from first separation until now in the infinite love light of Source. From AscensionPath.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed and powerful full supermoon in Capricorn tomorrow and a most beautiful rest of your week. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.